I almost forgot to mention this in the last video. Now, with regards to my point that me being insulted or smeared or what have you is like part of the torture. The truth of the matter is, is that even when stuff like that is not deliberately done to torture people, it has been proven that over a certain amount of time, when you continuously cause somebody emotional trauma through gaslighting, through insults or through smear campaigns, it has a serious effect on a person's nervous system. It kills off people's nerves over time. Now, that is just without gang stalking. That's just without anything that anything to do with gang stalking, anything to do with anything like that. So imagine the damage it causes when that constant gaslighting and that constant insulting, insulting of someone is long term. They do the exact same thing with people in counterintelligence. They isolate them. They cut them off. They spread rumors about them. They continuously have people whispering about them, have people spreading rumors to get an in high, to get a heightened sense of fear and hypervigilance in a person. So yes, Whilst I don't give a shit about you calling me a mad lady, because the thing is, your opinions don't matter anyway. Your opinions ain't worth a damn. You're fucking stupid as it is. It is part of the torture. So, yes, it is. What the fuck do you think you're doing when you're insulting somebody? Do you think you're healing them? What do you think you're fucking doing? And especially when they haven't done anything to you. What do you think you're doing? What exactly do you think you're doing every single time you spread rumors about somebody, you continuously bully somebody, try to make an already mentally ill person even more stressed out? What the fuck do you think you're doing? What do you think this is? What do you think is going on? Were you trying to heal people? What? What do you think is going on? What do you think is going on? It's one thing. It's one thing for you not to give a shit. But to act like it, you're, you're just innocent and like it's no big deal. Sick of this shit. Every time, every, like, I, can't, I just can't deal with this right now. So what do people think they're doing when they're insulting me? Repeatedly, even without me doing anything. What do they think they're doing? What do people think they're doing when they're going around telling everybody that I'm more, crazier than, more crazy than I am? What do they think they're doing? <laughs> Yeah, sure. Fuck off. That's exactly what I'm talking about. Shut the fuck up or keep that same energy. Be transparent. I'm sick of, I'm sick to death of these people. Again, like I said before, I can't blame them for everything. It's it's not fair to do so. But you're going to say stupid shit like that and then you're expecting you, and then not only do you expect me not to react, you expect me not to fucking close that shit down immediately. No. People being tortured is not a fucking joke. And again, in under any other circumstances, I would have said, "You know what?" Me being spread rumors about like, because of the intention, because there's no intention behind it, I would have said, no, that's not part of the torture. But it is. It's part of the fucking torture. Without that, the electronic torture isn't as effective. So again, what do you think you're doing when you're doing that shit? Like people just want to wallow in their own ignorance about what they do because it's less guilt to swallow. I don't fuck with people. Like, they're just fucking terrible. And anyway, I'm going to leave it at that. I'm going to get on with the rest of my day because I've still got stuff to do. So I'll leave you guys with that. 
my fellow TIs, take care. I'm sorry I had to dress this real quick because I'm not having that shit. That's something I'm not going to have. Okay? I love you. Take care. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.